Well, hey folks, Scott Jackson here. I'm your son of a hillbilly. And today we're gonna to talk about various types of bait casting reels. Now I'm just gonna pick three of my reels because these are definitely all bait casting, but they're a little different between each one of them. So let's take a look and see what we got here. First thing I wanna show you is basically a light action saltwater reel. So it's gonna be heavy action for most freshwater fishing used for muskies, heavy cat. That's what I bought it for, is for the muskies and heavy cat fish that I'm doing. So let me bring it up here into the view. And this is a Penn 2010. Now this is an old vintage reel, but vintage is still good. And you can see right now how it has a large handle. Um, it has a tension adjustment on the side. And what the tension adjustment on the side does is when you get ready to cast your reel, it'll let the, you can adjust how fast the, the line comes out. You'll notice how I'm turning the handle here. This one has an actuator where you've got to flip it up. I don't know what the name, correct term is for it, but it has an actuator on it. Another thing that a light saltwater bait casting reel you, uh, has on it is a clicker. And you could turn that, that clicker on. So, so once you have your line out in the water and you set this up in your rod holder or in your lap, wherever you want to hold it, this clicker will make a sound. It also makes it so that it keeps tension on the, the line as well. So when you have your, your creel totally open and the fish takes it, you know, there's enough tension on it to keep a, a, a slow current from washing it away. But in the meantime, this reel will, you know, um, let you know. So if you're kind of just sitting around and watching a couple of reels in here, you know you're getting a fish. And that's what they do on a lot of saltwater um, expeditions. Now it has the actuator, so when you do get a fish, you have to click that forward. And that's on a lot of different heavier saltwater reels. And then you can reel it in. You can still cast this reel, but you're going to have to adjust your tension screw. Some of them will have a little knob on the side. Some will have a screw. This one, you just take a dime and turn it, and you adjust it to where your line just falls out. And when the sinker hits the ground, you don't get any backlash from your spool and flip it in, and so forth. You have your um, drag adjustment on the side. And it, you could possibly put another um, handle over here, but I like it with just one handle. So that's a light salt action, action bait casting reel. Next reel I'm gonna pick is just your standard bait casting reel. This is a, a little older model. This is an Abu Garcia. Um, 4500 C3. And this one's also very good for catfish. It's good for bass. It's good for um, musky. It's good for whatever you want to catch stuff on with this reel. Uh, it's more lighter. It's lighter than the other. So when you get into some big fish, you know, it, it should hold up for it. And this particular one is a thumb, thumb actuated style. You have your drag tension here and then your uh, re or your spool tensions right here. And you still want to set that spool tension that when you click it, that the line, you know, just goes out. And when it hits the ground, that it will um, just not backlash on you. So it'll slowly pull out. Now, I don't have a weight on this line, so that's why I'm having to pull it out by hand. And you'll notice that I don't have any actuator. You just click it. And just like on your, other, you know, most bait casting reels, your spin casting reels, or your spinning reels, all you have to do is start turning the handle and it kicks in. Very nice type of reel. And this one, you know, you like say you set the tension just like you do in the saltwater reels to where the line just goes out, hits the ground, and no backlash. And you should get some really good casting with that. Now, the next one's one of the more, um, I don't know if you call it modern, but this, this one is a little newer. And this is a Shakespeare Sigma. S3420. Decent reel. I caught a lot of uh, bass on this this particular reel. And this was the, the rig that I was using when I was fishing on the uh, Mississippi backwaters and catching a bunch of northern pike. It handled northern pike with no problem. Got it on a medium heavy action graphite rod. And you'll see right here would be the tension for the spool. There's your drag. What this one has that the other ones don't have 
is a, a magnet adjustment right here. And you can set that magnet so when you are casting, you can do a little looser on your spool tension and the magnets will help kick it in to keep it from backlashing. So I've casted this reel, you know, dozens and dozens of time, times without a backlash just by adjusting this and adjusting my spool tension and using the magnets and adjustment to get it uh, not to backlash worked wonders. So th that's a very good reel. And I would use this one, this particular outfit, probably just mainly for bass fishing, uh, walleye fishing, you know, all those size of fish to, um, you know, catch your stuff with. And it's really a great, great reel. And in combination with this rod, makes a really good combination. All right. So that's my little overview of three different styles of bait casting uh, reels. And all those reels that I have there are all set for heavier action. So I have them all in medium heavy to heavy action rods. And I have uh, most of them set up for cat fishing or musky fishing, depending on what you're, you're looking at. They'll easily catch any other species of fish with that rig. But those particular ones, I want to fish for the large catfish in the rivers. And if I get any uh, big snags or anything like that, you know, I have a, a lighter leader on there because those are all running braided line. I like to run braided line in about the 60-pound test when I'm fishing for catfish. And then I'll put a monofilament leader anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds, just depending on what kind of catfish I'm going for. If I'm going for musty, I'm going to use a steel leader. But I still want to keep that braided line. Works has been working out really well for me. Very tough. And I can get a lot of uh, um, sensitivity out of it. Just a great thing all the way around. Well, I hope you enjoyed my quickie fishing tip for the day. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me at uh, sonofahillbilly at gmail.com. You can also go to my website, and I have my phone number listed on there. You can call it. It's a Google phone. Leave me a voicemail message, and I'll get that. And I, maybe I'll go ahead and put your question on my next podcast. Well, this is Scott, son of a hillbilly, signing off for now. And folks, hope you get out to do some fishing. <laughs>